Hi, I'm Sophie from Doodle and today we're going to learn how to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers. Let's get started. As a reminder, an improper fraction has a numerator greater than the denominator. A mixed number is made up of a whole number and a fraction. Now let's connect what we already know. This will help us in the rest of the lesson. We are asked to sort the improper fractions and the mixed numbers. Remember, an improper fraction has a numerator greater than the denominator. So let's take a look. 5 thirds or 5 over 3. This has a numerator greater than the denominator. The top number is greater than the bottom number, so it is an improper fraction. 7 over 2 or 7 halves is also an improper fraction. 7 sixths, the numerator is greater than the denominator, so it's also an improper fraction. Let's look here. We've got one whole and two thirds. So we have a whole number and a fraction which must mean one and two thirds is a mixed number. The same for two and one third. What do you think about 19 tenths, or 19 over 10? Well, it doesn't have any whole numbers and it does have a numerator greater than the denominator, so it must be an improper fraction. Let's check how we've done. Great, that's our first star. Now we know that, we're ready to discover our new learning. Let's find out how to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers. Ada says, I've shaded 5 fifths of the first circle in my model and 2 fifths of the second circle. So we can see that in the model, 5 fifths and 2 fifths. Now if I count the fifths, I can see that there are 7 fifths shaded in total. 5 here, 6, 7 all together. So there are 7 fifths shaded. Great. That's another star. Seven fifths is an improper fraction as the numerator is greater than the denominator. This means that the fraction is greater than or more than one. Now to convert seven fifths from an improper fraction to a mixed number, we need to find how many holes there are. So looking at this model, five fifths is equal to one. So we can say that seven fifths is equal to 5 fifths plus 2 fifths or how else could we write 5 fifths? We know that 5 fifths is equivalent to one whole so in here we can show 5 fifths as one whole. So we know that 7 fifths is equivalent to one whole and 2 fifths so we write that as 1 and 2 fifths. Now, Idris is converting 11 quarters to a mixed number, and that's represented here by counters, each worth one quarter. So how many counters should there be to represent 11 quarters? That's right, there should be 11. So first, Idris says he'll calculate the number of holes there are in 11 quarters. Now, if we think about a shape cut into quarters, we know that in one hole, there are four quarters. So what about two holes? Have a think. So there are eight quarters in two holes. Now Idris says, if eight quarters equals two holes, there must be three quarters remaining to make 11 quarters in total. So we can see that in our model. We've got four quarters here making one hole and another four quarters here making another hole. And then there are three quarters here left over. So we can see that 11 quarters is equal to two holes and three quarters. So to write that, we show it as two holes and three quarters. So well done if you got that one. Now let's explore this a bit more with another challenge. Now, Sam and Jay are converting four thirds to a mixed number. We've got a model here to help us. Here's our four thirds. Now Sam says, I think four thirds as a mixed number is four and one third. Jay says, I think four thirds is equal to one and one third because three thirds is equal to one whole. So we need to work out who is correct. You might want to pause the video here and have a think about what they both said. Let's go back to the model. How many thirds are there in one whole? Think of a shape split into thirds. Three thirds are equal to one whole. So these three counters make one whole, and then we have one third left. 
So who do you agree with? Sam or Jay? I think Sam has made an error here. He's put the numerator as the whole number. But Jay's right that three thirds equals one whole. So four thirds equals one and one third. So I'm going to say I agree with Jay. Excellent. So just to remind us to convert four thirds to a mixed number, we can say that four thirds is equivalent to three thirds plus one third. And we know three thirds is the same as one whole. So four thirds as a mixed number is one and one third. Now we need to convert five thirds to a mixed number. So have a think, perhaps this will help you. Now we know that three thirds are equal to one whole. So let's put our one as the whole number. And how many thirds would be left over? Have a think and then head to the description box to check your answer. If you enjoyed this video and would like to try some questions, create an account to try Doodle Maths for free today. Visit doodlelearning.com or click the link in the description box below. For more maths guides like this one, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.